Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee and we're live on Ustream.tv with a live chat audience. Thanks everybody for being here. If you're watching the recording on YouTube, uh, feel free to come over any Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern to Ustream and join in the chat. Great folk over here. So we already did a segment with the Monday Morning Mail and um, magazines and books and all that. Um, I also, I'm hoping, I think Boo and Cam are supposed to come tomorrow. I'm hoping. It, it so depends on their uh, parents' schedules, whether they can come down, bring them. You know, because it's an hour and a half drive. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm uh, hoping they'll be able to come down for a few days. Tomorrow, hopefully. Maybe I can meet, meet them halfway or something and get them down here. But if y'all know Annie V, Annie V, who I updated y'all on uh, last week, um, she sent Boo a bunch of beads. I was I thought about showing them to you this morning, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to wait cause, until Boo comes down and let Boo show you the beads. But Annie sent Boo, like, case, you know, big cases, plastic cases with all the little bead containers and all that sent boo tons of beads so annie v obviously watched the show and um and also um i guess maybe watches recordings but y'all keep annie v in your prayers as well um her husband will be having surgery i think this week and so y'all just you know if y'all think about it remember him and uh so yeah, I know. It was really thoughtful. It was so sweet. I guess you watched the Beating with Boo segment. And I can't believe it. Boo, well, I mean, I can't believe it. Boo's so cute. But Boo's got like 800, 700, 800 views on Beating with Boo. I told her she needs to have her own YouTube channel. You know, she could do it. She could. She, you know, depends on her time, though. She stays busy. Um, oh, Denise just sent me a picture of something. Hang on. Let's see what she messaged me. Speaking of Boo's mama, that would be Denise. All right. She sent me a picture. Okay. They're just... Oh, this is when, um, yeah, Boo went to, um, there was a, um, I'm not sure exactly what the event was called, but they had it was a baseball camp event thing. And Boo and her friend and Denise, they went down to the camp. And uh, Gant, who was one of the uh, former uh, Braves, here's Boo getting her poster signed by him. It's a little flashed out. Denise just messaged it to me. But there's Boo getting her poster signed right there. So, yeah, awesome. Awesome sauce. I mean, why do I say that? I don't even ever say awesome sauce. Okay, so anyway, uh, hey Shauna, so that was kind of cool, Denise just messaged that to me, she had it on her phone, yeah, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell on Denise, she, she probably, she won't, she won't be watching, she's at work, so she won't see this, <laughs> let me show you this picture, did I keep it on my phone, hang on, she sent me this picture too, might just be up oh, here it is yeah there's Denise going down the slide <laughs> down the jumpy she goes oh yeah I'm doing it her and her friend both did it she and her friend both did it and she said they were in line with a bunch of nine-year-olds or nine and under <laughs> but they did it <laughs> oh so anyway okay so what I want to do is I started doing it uh for a few minutes, I cleaned up. If y'all didn't notice, I, I put a new uh, uh, cover on my uh, table. All it is is a uh, craft, black craft paper roll. And I roll it out, tape it all the way around the edges, and then when it gets really bad, I put another layer on top. And then when it starts getting too good, smushy, then I take all the layers off and start over. There's probably about five or six now, so it's probably next time. Up and take off all the layers. All right. So anyway, what I was doing for a few minutes it, this weekend was cutting up. Move some of this stuff out of the way. 
was cutting up some of my old, I have just some smaller and I have some larger art journal -y pages. So I just, I've only done a few because I was just kind of watching something and just cutting while I was watching. You've been listening to it says, I say it all the time. Very pretty nail. Oh, I missed something what you said, Terry. Oh, you like my nails? Oh, thank you. Yeah, and they're actually, it's actually hot pink. It looks orange. It looks orange or red on camera. Just like, you know, it's hot pink does not come up very well. It comes off as orange. Oh, it's time to dirty it up again. Yeah, with paint. Right. So what I've been doing is I, I'm cutting up old journal pages and I cleaned off one whole section of my portfolios, my journals, my current journals, my sketchbooks and got them in, out of in front of one of my shelves. So when I moved all those and I look on my shelf and there's stacks and stacks and stacks of deconstructed journal pages. So whenever I have something that's, I think mean, some of this is from jelly plating, right? Some of this is leftover jelly plating uh, or rolled off bits from when we jelly plated. And then I have stacks of old journal pages that if I don't like them, I'll deconstruct my journals and reuse them. <laughs> oh, Terry says awesome sauce all the time. Okay, got it, got it. Thanks, Vicki. And, uh, <laughs> but I never do. So maybe that's why I picked it up from Terry. <clears throat> hey, Carol Renee. So I, I thought that, and I showed that some of this on the last segment where, um, Teresa Dream or Mountain Dream or Teresa sent me a big stack of collage fodder. So I started just a couple of tears into that to show, you know, that we usually start when we do our art cards. We start with a pl blank white page. But I want to show that you can also start with color inspiration. So if you if you get a white card in front of you and you don't know what to do, where's my card? And you don't know what to do, with starting with a white card like we usually do, okay, these we all started with just a white blank card. Well, if you don't know what to do, then then start with b cut up bits of your art, old art journals or paint scraped pages that you might have kept, right? And cut them up either 4 by 6, 3 by 4, or ATC size. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. That's your standard, you know, artist trading card size, baseball card size. And then I like doing three by fours though. I like a little bit more real estate to work with. So these are three by fours. But if even that's too small for, for you, then start with a four by six. So I just tore this out of one of Teresa Dreamer's thing, uh, you know, stacks over here just to show you that you already can start something with just one little bit. You know, using the color as an inspiration. So I thought that that's what I would do. I'm going to go ahead and cut some more cards up. So you can just see these are all bits of leftover painty bits or stencil stencil bits or just whatever. This is just a piece of painted scrape paint. But look, there's a whole little world right there. You see the tree, the forest, the flowers. could be sunlit back there. It didn't start out like this. This was just some painted scraped paint. Um, Orlin, I see a pound. Yes, there's a lion in there. That was from a collage something that was glued on. I had a whole bunch of those. I think it was from a, was it from a cigar? No, it was from a cigar. I think it was either cigars or whiskey ad. <laughs> but they had these awesome lions on it. So I got a whole bunch of those in there. But anyway, so you can see, look, this was part of that. And it was just scraped paint. But look. There's a whole, look. can you see the whole little world already started for you? Trees in the, in the background. Here's the foreground, a little path going up there. So, you know, even scraped painted bits can be starts of little worlds. So, and then, I, like I said, I don't usually do ATCs anymore, but this was like the cut edge. Like after I cut down 4x6 and 3x4s, there was just enough left for an ATC. So some of these are like leftover uh, bits uh, from the, for ATC size. The rocks you showed, as an example, look like a lion. Oh, okay. This one? Okay. Oh, it looks like a whole lion there. Okay, gotcha. 
So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today is I think I'm going to cut some more up. So if you're not into paper cutting and chatting, some of us like just to watch paint dry. Oh, and then here's Stonehenge too. Stonehenge can go on, you know, one of these as well, maybe like this one. So, I mean, if we cut this down, look, you can so see Stonehenge. This could be underwater. This could be mermaids. There can be all kinds of things. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I feel kind of like a little bit of a chillax Monday today. So I think what I'm going to do is just spend a little bit of time cutting things up and maybe, you know, laying out a few as I go, laying out a few um, ideas. And then we'll see where we can go, you know. So I'm going to spend about 45 minutes just cutting up paper. So just saying, if this is not your segment, just fast forward or, you know, whatever. Just chat. Just chat in the chat. Because <laughs> I'm just going to cut. Or nap. Yeah, there you go, Terry. Or nap. Jean. Jean. <laughs> but we can talk about different things you can see or ideas or whatever uh, in, uh, in the... Uh, elements. So I got my big paper cutter here. This is what I use for cutting everything. I actually have two of these. I actually have two of these uh, cutters like this. I don't use the little um, scrapbook cutters anymore. It's too slow for me. <laughs> yeah, we're cutting and gluing. Cutting and gluing. Sounds relaxing. Well, I just want to kind of show you, and because I'm keeping our segments, you know, under an hour for uh, download purposes, even though if there's more than one segment, I will like put the thumbnails together so they all look the same on YouTube so you know if there's multiple parts, how to, it's easy to follow. That's just my solution to trying to get the videos to load easy. So what I'll do, and this is a good example, I've already got these folded because they were just leftovers. I'm not going to cut all these because I want to show you some other ones too. I did pull these out. I have a stack about this tall of just this size folded bits of crusty bits. <laughs> uh, yes, everything has paint on it. <laughs> yes, Pam. You know, even, your, even your cutter has paint on it. So, But I do want to show you a couple of these, and then I'm going to get out some actual old art journal pages that have been deconstructed. i got a huge stack of them, and show you how you can cut those up as well. So it's just going to be a little, uh, little you know, collage pre-collage kind of demo-y thing. I don't know. It's It would be interesting to me if I was watching somebody do this, but, you know, it may not be your cup of tea. <laughs> oh, one other thing is here's another uh, little idea you can do with your, uh, you know, art cards. So if you got some, you know, the art cards, whether you want them four by six, we've done, I have my big mixed media, which I showed a week or two ago, my mixed media collage art journals. It's all, I use the same process. Sometimes I start with a blank page. Sometimes I start with some paint already on the page. But either way, it's all the same process. This was a little, I think it was a Tim Holtz little book. I don't remember now. But um, I think it was one of those, the ruler ones, you know, like we have the wingnut book. I think it was one of those ruler ones, but I didn't have the ruler, so we just put some giant brads in it to hold it. But it's a kind of a flip-out book, and we did this probably, oh, at least a year ago, maybe two. And um, <clears throat> and it's the same process of mixed-media collage. These I, I, I do want to varnish this book page by page eventually, but I will reshow it. So it's kind of like a time travel book. So you see how it goes this way, this way, and then it folds over this way. So there's all different kinds of pages how it you know because it's a flip out book right so just so you can kind of see then this one goes this way they flip both ways so this is just <clears throat> the same process and it is a little flashed out maybe i can turn the light down just a little so it's not quite so flashed out there that's a little there we go now we got a little bit of true color there sorry didn't mean to yell in your ear uh, but uh, yeah, so there you go. You can kind of see there. It goes that way, then it goes this way. And then this flaps. Does that one flap? That one doesn't flap down. This one flaps out. <clears throat> you like that? <laughs> and then this flaps down. 
I think one page flips down and the next page flips out. So you can kind of see here. This one flaps this way. And then it flaps over. And then this one flaps down. <laughs> one flaps out, one flaps down. Then it goes this way. And just different, all kinds of collage -y bits. And this one flaps out. See if I can get my color back there. Where's my tear? Where's my uh, sherry card? And that one, and then that one's on the back. So yeah, we did this one. <clears throat> I don't know, at least a year ago, maybe two. I don't. I don't remember. But uh, we did a stream on it. I don't know that this one's on YouTube, though. I can't remember how far back. Because I've only been uploading to YouTube for almost two years. I think it'll be two years in August that I've been uploading to YouTube and been streaming for going on. It'll be six years in November. So four years of projects are not on YouTube. So, But anyway, so that's that little book. I just wanted to show you that the same process is done for all of them. All right, so... Now, since I folded all these in half, okay, I folded them. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. They were just leftover painty, scrapey things. I mean, I can I already see a, I could see a whale in there, but I also see a mountain. And because this has already been folded in half, I don't really want to use this as a collage base with a fold in it because that will show up, right? That will show up a fold. So all these that with the folds in them, I've just been cut, cutting them in half. All right, so I cut them in half, and you might want to turn your volume down if it's, if this, this sounds loud to you, the cutting thing sounds loud to you. Thanks, Perfect Patty, yeah. So now what you can do is, like, you can either pick bits. Some of these I picked for four by six, I mean, uh, three by four. Some I picked by, like, this one I want a four by six out of. So I'll just kind of guess, like, where I might want to cut the edge off, because I know I want this four by six, and there's not enough left to do anything else with, so to speak. So I'm going to just cut off the edges here, and then I'll, I have my measuring right here, right? So I can measure six. And then if I, I got to see now, if I, if I go four, it's going to cut a lot of this off. Do I want to cut some of this off? Do I want to cut some of this off? So you have to make those decisions when you're cutting these bits up to look at what you want to keep. And if, it, if you want, it might be easier. Let me show you another way to do this. Um, get a couple pieces of cardstock. Uh, oh, let, me just, let me just grab one of these uh, pages right here that's cardstock. Let's see. Okay. So what you can do... All right, is I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Let's go ahead and just do this cut like this. I'm just going to cut this down into a couple little half mats. Okay, not doing it very neatly, so you can do it neater than this. But you can cut down a piece of cardstock. Okay, you can cut down a couple pieces of cardstock like this. All right, let's turn it over so it doesn't confuse you. Or, you know distract you and you can you can either glue this at four by six you can glue you a space like this four by six or you can just keep it like it is so you can move it around so like there would be a three by four if you're not sure then you can just measure with the card like that or you know a four by six you can go like this and measure so that you know how big your little thing is. So it's like a little viewfinder is what it's called. Like a little matted viewfinder that can change sizes, right? So whatever size you want to pick. So what you can do is you can take your you can take your bit. And if you know you want it by a 4 by 6 then you can just go like this and move it around and see what you want to look at. So if you... Okay, so like I like that right there, but then I'm going to have to lose that bit. Is that okay with me? Do I like this bit better? Which I do, right? And, it, and let's just say you weren't sure. Maybe you wanted a 3 by 4 You can do this. Okay, right there's good too. 
because then you get some of that sky up there like that. So by using a little viewfinder like this, you can kind of just look around and see what areas you like. I almost like that 3x4 better. I think I will go with the 3x4 rather than the 4x6. So, that being said, I know that th I want this to be 4 inches and this 3 inches. So, I'm just going to guesstimate, but you could mark it. You could mark it. No, you're still here, Terry. I see you. I see you. So, you could, you could mark it with your little viewfinder, or you could just guess. And that's usually what I do. I'm kind of knowing I want this right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off. Know that I want the, that 3 inches right in there. And then I'll cut it down to four. So there's my card, just my base card. See, did that make sense? Okay, did that make sense how I did that? All right, so I'm loving this already. So now I might want to find where my little, who knows, I might want just a bit of Stonehenge in there, you know? And again, you have to imagine it being painted in, right? You have to imagine this painted in. I don't leave any of this. It all gets painted in. <clears throat> all right? I actually want to use this stone hinge, though, on a bigger piece, like something like this. So let's go ahead and cut this one down. I've got some little bits going here. We're going to work on those. I'll probably spend, like I said, the next 30 minutes just cutting, and then we'll do another segment on actually... Uh, We'll, we'll call this one selecting your elements and then the next one will be like gluing elements or whatever collage elements okay so I'm gonna kind of I know I, I want to use the stone hinge like maybe on here somehow you know I don't know maybe, you don't have to use all of it either maybe you just want a little bit of stone hinge but I know I want this to be a four by six so again if you weren't aren't sure where you want it to be you can and it, it might be easier to make two of these. It might be easier for you to make a four by six one, you know, glue this down. In other words, make you a little mat that's four by six and glue it, and then make you another one that's three by four, okay? So that you have, you don't have to be doing this and guessing. You could just do this. So if you have a four by six like this, let's just say you glue that down, then what you can do is find where you want your four by six to be, and then do a little tick mark or in the in the in the uh, corners you could do a little you know pencil tick or whatever so that you can find exactly where you want to cut it <clears throat> oh good anita and you can decide where you want to cut it so that after you remove your papers you know right where to cut i'm just going to guess i'm going to cut that off i know i want this to be this is going to be four by six Okay, so there's my bit that I'm going to want to use. But if you're not sure, then then measure. But I'm using stand, my two standard card sizes are 4x6, which is your standard postcard size, and 3x4, my art card. I, they're bigger than ATCs. ATCs are 25 by 35 Okay, um, my art cards are 3x4, so you can see the difference in size there. Okay, and then four by six so again you know I might want to use just a bit of this way off in the distance up there so we'll see but I'm going to just set this aside maybe I'll do one with some stone hinge on this and the little bit I tear off I can use on this so it could be a twofer <laughs> okay so that's kind of what I'm doing by going through and let me try to find some of the most interesting ones uh, here this is a good one okay I don't know what this was from. This could have just been a, I don't know, leftover painting something. All right. But because I've already folded them in half and it's, and it's cardstock and it's been heavily creased, I'll just go ahead and cut on the, on the fold there just to get rid of the crease. And then I can decide here <clears throat> what parts that I want to use. Do I want, do I want a four by six? Like this yeah old any magazine old magazines uh, old calendars anything like that 
Okay, so I do I want to, I, I kind of like that right there because I already see a whole little thing going on, right? Or, but I also, my favorite format is three by four. So do I want maybe one, two, you know, I can get a couple out of there. I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to cut three inches off here. And then again, look though and see what do you, you know, like in there. Like, do I like that? I kind of like that bit. So I think I'm going to go with this side. So I'm going to cut three inches there. And then I decide here where I want to cut it down to four. I kind of like that mountain look there. So I might cut some of this. I might cut a little off of both ends. So I just kind of flip it around and cut how I like it. You know, something like that. Okay, so same for this one. And, and also turn things upside down and right side up. You might think it looks good that way. It might look good. And you can also have a landscape 3 by 4 Okay, I'm going with this, though. I'm going to cut a little off the top, trim it off the bottom, and then there's that to start with. Hey, Blondie. Anybody else popping in? We're just trimming down. Okay, so here's an example. I think this is this would be uh, big enough for ATC. Let me measure. Yeah, so this is 2 and a half. By, and then I can make it a three and a half. So I can turn this into an ATC size, right? So I'm going to trim a little off the top there and then make it three and a half. So there's a, there's a little ATC size. So I do have a stack of, like, just because there was enough left to make an ATC, even though I don't really make ATCs anymore, I make art cards. All right, so let me do one more like that. Um, let me find something that's got some interesting patterns. And then we'll, all right, so here's a leftover stencil. This was a leftover, like after you use a stencil and it's got the ink on it, then um, you smack your stencil down on an extra paper. So again, I'm going to, because it's folded, I'm going to cut it on the fold just to get rid of the fold. All right, so now I can take my little my little viewfinder here and just kind of decide where I kind of like that right there and it could again it could go this way it could go this way I would just personally like it this way because I can see a watch in here a watch bit <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and keep three inches right in somewhere right in there I'm just kind of guesstimating and then turn trim it down to four so there we go. I got this to work with. Do you you use tabloids? You mean like like tabloids like in what, the National Enquirer? <laughs> Is that what you mean by tabloids? I'm not sure what you mean by tabloids. If if that's the case then no. I don't I don't read them. I don't buy them. Nobody even gives them to me. So no, I don't use those. If that's what you mean by a tabloid, that could, if you're in another country, it could mean something totally different. You know, know what I mean, Vern? All right, so I'm liking that. I want this, I'm kind of liking these two right here, these three. I want to keep these out because I'm going to do something with those. Might do something with that. So, and then, and also, guys, if you feel like this is nothing, I'm, I'm not, like, maybe there might be something, but maybe you don't really think that there's anything there for you to use. Don't feel bad throwing stuff away if you think, well, yeah, you know, I, that's not really inspiring me. Maybe I can keep it because it's on cardstock just to paint on. But don't feel bad if you don't feel like you're getting anything out of it. Just, you know, I, can't, I have so many paper scraps, I can't keep every one. Have a stack that was good. Yeah, no, I don't, don't, I, here's the thing about something like the National Enquirer. It's not even so much the National Enquirer, but it's the content of the paper. The, you know, it's very thin and flimsy. Um, and probably the only thing in color is going to be movie stars. You know, I don't, I, I tend not to put people in my art cards, although, you know, people have asked me, oh, put some people in your art cards. Let's see, do I have one or two here? And so I do it occasionally. I don't even know if I have any left. I might have given them all away. So I really don't... Um, I'm looking, guys. I don't even think I have any. 
Yeah, I've given I think I've given all my cards away that have people in them. Let me see right here. Because uh, I don't put that very many people in my art cards unless people. So I want some with people in it. So occasionally I'll get a fashion magazine. I have one fashion magazine I work out of. Uh, I'll get a fashion magazine out and put people in my art cards occasionally. But I just don't put people in them. I'll put a bird. I'll put, you know, other things. But I just don't put very many people in my art cards. So I'm just thinking that something like that is probably not going to have a lot of, for me, because I don't put a lot of people use for me. Yeah. I gave you one with people in it, Marie. Okay, yeah. And guys, once I send out the cards, I have, I I keep photographs of all my cards so I can turn them into paintings, but I don't remember who gets what. I, I don't keep a record of who gets which card. So yeah. Alright, so there I'm just gonna put this stuff away now. I've got this whole stack here of that kind of thing. And that one's kind of cool. Both of these are kind of cool. Some are on paper, some are on cardstock. So here's the thing about if it's on cardstock, you can just work with it on cardstock. If it's on thin paper, like this, if it's like just on paper, I will probably glue this to a piece of cardstock. Because I want it a little heavier than this, right? But I can still use this. I'll just glue it to a 3 by 4 piece of cardstock. If it's already on cardstock, like this, then I have a base to already start with. Okay. So I'm going to put these, this stack away and get out some, uh, I'm going to get out some bigger, more finished art journal pages just to show you guys that you can cut up different things. All right. Here's a, this is a whole stack of jelly plated papers. Two stacks actually. <laughs> Here's more, you know, more of these. This is all, this, some of this is um, jelly paper and you do, can do the same thing. You can glue these jelly papers on your, um, glue them on, on cardstock. Let me get a rubber band. Do I have one right here? So this just is kind of showing you some ideas of what you can do with your journal pages. So it's not like I'm going to run out of stuff, <laughs> let alone I usually start blank pages. But yeah, so I've got some in here with, you know, just different, just different bits. All right, so let me set that aside. Let's see if I can throw one to start here. All right, so... <laughs> Alright, so I've got literally three feet, I have three feet of old journal pages here to like play with. Now I'm obviously not going to go through all of this. <laughs> but just so you can see, here's like one foot of it. These are bigger pages. This is like a foot stack full of old art journal, deconstructed art journal pages. Now, not every one of these I'm going to want to cut up. Some are actually like pages that I want to keep. But a lot of them are not. <laughs> so just so you can see that you can use some of your old art journal pages. So, okay, I gotta turn my chair sideways because I'm breaking out in a sweat and my fan is not hitting me because I have to turn my chair. The back of my chair blocks my fan. But I can't, I have to be able to block the fan. Otherwise, when I'm cutting and gluing little bits, if the fan's blowing on me, then it blows the papers. Hey, Sarah. Terry L., who else? Busy? Hey, Busy Jill. Lindsay Whimsy. Anybody else popping in? <coughs> Thanks for being here. Debbie. Who else? Denise. See a lot of people popping in. Thanks for being here. And uh, our Monday morning, Jeannie. 
See that stack? <laughs> this is a lot of years of stuff, okay? Because, you know, probably the majority of this was done on stream. I'll show you some of it, but I'm not obviously not going to cut up all of this. Now, some of these here on the top might be some journal pages. I don't even remember what's in these stacks. I have stacks and stacks and stacks. Shelves. Six foot, to you know, tall, three feet wide shelves. Full, or two feet, three? No, I think they're three feet wide. Shelves of, um, you know, stuff. No, I don't have, yeah, I'm past that, Lindsay. <laughs> Mine's just because it's hot in the house and I got six lights beating down on me. So, yeah, that's not, that's not an issue with me. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> girls in chat girls in chat so what we're working on right now Sarah is showing how you can use bits of old journal pages to okay incoming mail guys hang on froze me up again um, how we can use bits of leftover journal pages to start as a base for your art cards whether it's ATC size four by six, three by four, and so that's what we're starting this segment out as. You, no need to cut, just box it <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show you a couple different things. Oh, look, I think I have, even have a, uh, <laughs> I think I even have a, look, I cut this last time we did a show on this. Here's something that you, showing you that you can take your bits of your uh, and I don't, I'm not sure where the original ones of this is, but to show you that if you have a art journal page and you only like a part of it, see I made some little, <laughs> little samples here last time we pulled these out. Uh, <clears throat> here, here's the example. Okay, let me find the cost thing here. All right, so this was an art journal page or a part of one. And I only liked, this is, This was to show you what you can do. With I'm leaning over this stack. It's sitting on my lap. <laughs> and I'm leaning over it. This was, I, I did this uh, as an example to show you that let's just say you do an art journal page. And you only like this. So what I did is I showed you how you can take a picture of this. Go into any, the simplest kind of photo program. Okay. And you can even change the colors, and that's what I did here to show you. <clears throat> How you can go from this little bit of a journal page. You know, all this was was some little coral or something I glued down, and I just drew in some little people. And then, but look what I did with it. I turned it into that. Well, this is not the one. Where's the one? This one. Okay, maybe that's on this side. Here it is, this one, this one. Okay, so there's that. And then I turned it into this. So don't discount even a small bit of your art journals because just by changing the colors in your um, photo program, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about like Photoshop CS or anything like that, just the simplest thing. You can go in and just change colors from blue to purple, and then you can take this. Um, I'm always on Mondays. I just didn't, for, I forgot to tweet, Sarah, because I came on early to talk about Eileen. So I forgot to tweet. But I'm on every Monday, and sorry I forgot to tweet. Yeah, I just got, got to chatting uh, and forgot. So, yeah. So you can take something and change it into that. And then I think this one, this, yeah. And then this side, again, is where I took this one. It's been a long time since I did these guys. So you can see how you can use, yeah, it looks completely different, but you can use bits of your own work. It's just printed on, yeah, this is just printed on my, off my printer, I, um, Vicki. Fo like matte photo paper, matte photo paper. Or maybe it's even just cardstock. I don't remember to tell you the truth. It's been so long since I did these. But anyway, so you can see either one. Now, I would recommend, well, you can put it on shiny paper. You can put it on whatever your preference is. If you like shiny, if you like matte. I, pr I like matte when I print out, but I like shiny in my art cards. So I varnish them. 
but I like them printed like matte. So you can see right there, taking that and doing that with it. The little mountain thing with little people things on it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so there's this side with the them, and then on this side, I had these little ghosty things. <laughs> they're not ghosts, but they're like people of light. So there you go. So that just, I just, I keep things like this to show y'all samples. Um, I don't know where my little clip went. I have a little clip here somewhere. Clip these together because then the next time I want somebody who's going to say, oh, what about blah, blah, blah. I'll never forget. I mean, I'll never find them all clipped together again. Well, I just had that little clip right here. No, I can't find it. Well, here's a big clip. We'll go with the big clip because I can't, no little clip. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So here are some different collage pages, and I will just decide if I like to keep any of them or if I want to cut some up. And uh, again, they're all different. This is just one small stack, guys. You know, I've got this whole stack right here. Here's where we did. Remember this day? This was out. This was out of an art journal, and it's a folder. From, this folder was glued into an art journal. We deconstructed the art journal. But we did this one day. Obviously, Ustream didn't play nice today. <laughs> we used to have a lot of problems. Um, yeah, back in the day. Okay, this was from 2012. I have a date on there, 2012. Okay, so I've got stacks of stuff like this that we, you can pick from. Now let me try to gather all this to the side. <laughs> All right, so for instance, all right, so this is out of an art journal page, right? Now, I can either decide I just want to keep it, or do I want to use this to make something else out of? And do I want it to go this way? Do I want it to go this way? What parts do I want to keep? Or do I just like this whole thing? I'm not particularly fond of this, so I'll use, I'll, we'll go, we'll cut this one up as an example. Let me get, let me move the stack off the table so I can get to the, just so I can get to the cutter. Now, I have to decide. I might like it smaller. I mean, I might even like it like um, a five, a, let's see, six, what size would that be? I kind of try to, and I try to do keep it a standard size. You know, five by seven, uh, something like that. Like maybe if I cut that, I don't, I don't know. Let me just cut this off for now. I know I want it down to that. But I'm actually kind of liking this, just like this, without this. So sometimes you might just like it, you know, just cut. All you needed to do was cut it down. So I'm, I'll just set this aside for now like that. But I want to cut this up and use this. So now do I want it, again, we have, we can go with, you know, four by six. Or we can go with three by four. We could get two three by fours out of it. Or one four by six. I'm kind of liking the four by six. <laughs> yeah, it's kind <laughs> of people freak out when I start cutting stuff down. Okay, so I think I'll go with um, maybe even a little bit more. Let's go with cutting that off. I'm going to cut, and I, I cut, if I'm not sure, I'll just trim off both sides. Again, if you if you want a better measurement, measuring way to do this, then again, make you one of these that's uh, permanent, you know, glued like this. See how we just take this one? Make you a permanent size, four by six. Is this one three by four? I think this one's three by four. Now it's bigger. Make it, you know, just uh, tape the edges so you don't have to be moving it around. Then you can do little tick marks to exactly where to cut. I just guesstimate because I've done it so many times. I can kind of just tell where I want to cut it. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of this side. A little off of this side. And then i got to decide where I want to cut it down at four. I cut a little off the top and then the rest off the bottom. And then now here's a card ready to do more with. See? And remember, look at it all different ways. You, you'll see different things, turning things different ways. All right, so there's another one ready to go. Oh, there's that little clippy. Let's swap that out. 
I'd rather have this little one on here. Okay. So let's find another one to cut up. <laughs> I love cutting these things. Okay, you like that? Well, I'm going to do this for about 10 more minutes, and then we'll do another segment where we're actually going to use some of this stuff. All right, so let's see. But I actually like this was a double page spread in a magazine in, a, in an art journal. How did it go? Was it like this? Yeah. So this was a double page spread in an art journal that I deconstructed. But you know, I still kind of like that as it is. So I probably won't cut this one up. But just so you can kind of see, let's see the back. They're in different stages. Very rarely is is one of my art journals actually finished cover to cover. Because y'all know I work all over the place. I know, Sarah, it bothers you. Sarah likes to go from page to page. And a lot of people do. I like to jump all around. So I, I'll scrape paint on one. I'll glue something down on one. I'll go back and work in another. Y'all see my, my, my desk journals. That's just whatever. And I, it doesn't bother me to have a completed page right there and then have five or six pages just like this. It doesn't bother me at all. But then if I want to deconstruct the journal, let's say I want the covers of the journal for something else. I'll take them all out. I'll just cut them all out of the journal and use the covers for something else. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's another fish one. We must have had a fishy day or fishy mood. <laughs> this one here. So there's that one. Again, this was in a double page spread. What's on the back? We've got a bird on the back of this one and some glued down stickers on this side. But here's our completed page. There's a double page spread. So there's our completed double page spread. You're a jumper. Yeah, I like that, Terry. I'm writing that down, the wing nut. That's good. Let me get a post-it note here. I'm a jumper. Yeah, I like that. Terry Trouble on moving around a journal. Yeah, I like that. I'm a jumper. Let me get the wing nut book. Y'all don't know what a wing nut book is. This is our little um, funny things like this and it's usually you have to be there it's one of those things Denise looked through this when she was here and she goes I don't get it I don't understand any bit of this I said well stuff you had to be there like if she pulled this out and went I'm a jumper what you see it doesn't make sense <laughs> you're a sweater <laughs> oh good grief okay I'm gonna put that on the back <laughs> Lindsay said oh well, let me do it because that's gonna soak through Lindsay said she's a sweater. <laughs> I am a sweater. Funny. She's sweating over there. But she's not a sweater. She's a sweater. Like, you know, a jumper and a sweater. Okay. Anyway, so then we just randomly throw these wing nuts in the book. And, uh, yeah, there's years of them. <laughs> Quite a few in here. Let's just randomly read one. Let's just see. Okay. Eileen says, you better, beta, better get it right. Yeah. See? Carrie said pocket watch. Well, see, we, it doesn't mean anything really now, but it did at the time. But anyway, we're a bunch of wing nuts. So, yeah, that goes in the wing nut book. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks the project at hand <laughs> what well, that was hilarious Denise looking at the way yeah she did she just looked at it and like what y'all were here when she did that I'm a parka grown <laughs> so this is a page I don't want to cut this up because I like this but here's the thing guys I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now just so I can show you I can't print it out now but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a picture of it. Hang on. Let me get this lined up so that you can't see the crack. Maybe it needs to go, no. Nope. Does it need to go that way? No, it needs to go the other way. 
Of course, you can always edit that out too, and you can always put two together. I just want to show you. I just want to give you all the idea. The idea. The idea to use your pages. Okay, let me get up here. Hang on. Alright, so now let me crop it down for you. One moment, please. Because then we can turn this into a painting. That's what we need to do today. <gasps> let's maybe turn this into a painting. Okay, let's see. Let's crop it down. Like I don't need, I don't need this little bit right here, edge. I'm just going to crop it down where I want it. Let's see what size. That might be too big. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, now with me, let me show you the picture now. Let me go back. Up, down. Oh, there's Denise. Hang on. Following Denise and her friends. Uh, did something to my camera roll. Hang on. Ah, uh, here we go. So, let me turn it sideways so you can see it. So, here we go. So, now we can use this as a basis for a painting. See? And I know it's flashing out and everything on the camera, but so you just get the idea. Now let me, I'm flashed out again here now. Hang on, let me get my sherry card. Get the color back. There we go. So, there's an idea for you to use with your art journal pages. Alright, so let's put this one aside. Because I'm not going to cut that one up. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Alright, this will be a good one to cut up. Actually, I don't know. I've got a couple of different things going on. Here's one. All right, let's go with this one. Okay, so here we have, we were using something with some Mona Lisa something. Because y'all know Mona Lisa is my muse. But look at this. It looks kind of like a hot mess, right? Who knows what we were doing that day? Kind of hard to say. But I see a lot of good art cards in this baby. <laughs> uh, Hey, Haley, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. So let's look at this. And again, we can take our viewfinders and we can decide if we what we like, if, you, if you're not sure. I kind of just spot things that, I, that attract me and cut around it. And I don't really care if something gets wasted. But if you really want to be more strategic, then, you know, you're going to take a little bit more time to find areas. So again, if you're not sure, then just go like this and put a tick mark in the corners at four by six so you know exactly where to cut. I guesstimate when I cut, but if you want to make exactly sure, then you know, mark it out so that you know where to cut. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I'm going to go ahead and do this at six. And four, and we'll use this. Okay. Again, I had some bit of something on the back that I didn't care about. But always, if you're deconstructing a journal, make sure you look. So there's that. And again, guys, sorry, it's kind of flashing out the colors. Well, I'm doing my best. Okay. So now we got these bits left. So again, we can go with four by six. We can go by four by six. We can go with some three by fours. I'm thinking I kind of like that right there. I'm liking just this right here. So I'm going to cut this down. I'll trim a little off the top, just a little off the top. Then I'm going to trim it down to four. And then kind of look through here and see where I want to cut off at six. Well, it actually is right at six. So there we go. That one's already at six. And then you can add more to this, more collage, more paint, more stars, planets, water, whatever you want to add. You know, and not everybody's a space water kind of girl. You might be a garden girl. So you might want to add, you know, plants. Like kind of like remember when we did the bunny and the girl on the on the on the uh, in our this one we did last week. Remember when we painted in these painted in these leaves. You might want to do more of a garden theme. Okay? 
so whatever appeals you here's the thing guys if you don't like outer space waterfalls and clouds then don't do them because you're not going to like it you're not going to enjoy the process see I enjoy the process as much as I do the fun finished piece and then when I enjoy the process if I have something left over that I like I'll turn it into a painting when I have time you know <laughs> which seems to be like less time but um yeah so you just look at this and, and imagine a world in there and then once you can imagine see i see a figure standing right there in a little little tunnel there's a little opening right here maybe this is like all crumpled up this is a world in decay <laughs> here's another this is going to have stars and planets maybe a little cityscape right back there here's a figure getting ready to go through that you know and i mean that's not you know portals and time portal that's not anything new but how you imagine it in your world makes it unique because you can't you can't duplicate this there's no way you see same thing for mona this could be a whole like little um this could this could be a couple things this could be a cave or a portal here but it could also be a roller coaster <laughs> you see so you know it, it's just whatever and then but then you have to not be afraid to go with it if you are afraid to do something with this take a picture of it take a picture of the last long with Pee Wee Herman <laughs> well see and everybody sees different things and and that's usually why sometimes I'll title my cards but I don't necessarily tell you like I am right now what I see I don't necessarily tell you because then once I tell you what I see then you're gonna go oh yeah well that's so and so that's so and so and you're not using your imagination you're not imagining your world if I'm telling you my world you know that's like if you go look at a Salvador Dali. If you're not if you're not up on you know researching everything he meant, every symbol, what he was thinking, then when you look at his painting, you're gonna see something what's in you. Do you see what I'm saying? Know what I mean, Vern? So yeah, so just to show you that. Okay, so let's finish cutting up these other two here. So we got this one. Now I'm just kind of looking at again, don't be afraid to turn it different ways. You might see something one way. You might see something another. Okay. You might see something. You're going to go, no, no, don't cut it there. I see so-and-so. Well, you know, that's the difference that you have when you, um, see how big that is. <coughs> when you see different uh, different things. Okay. So there's only, I could get one four by six out of this right here, which I kind of like that right there. See, now, well, I, I'm not going to tell you what I see. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, and I'll do my thing, and maybe you'll see what I see. Let's see, do I want to cut this off? It. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so now i got this one. Okay. <laughs> you think they're complete like that for you they might be see now here look I see an angel and a guard just because of that right there it reminds me of a guard look there's his head he's holding a staff or some kind of a something there and here's an angel right there see the wing you just gotta look at it for a while look at look at the stuff for a while now you might see something totally different All right, now this little bit isn't just enough it's just two and a half, so I just got to trim it down to three and a half. Just trim off that little bit. Now I have enough for an ATC, which, I, like I said, I don't make many ATCs because I usually make my three by fours. But I can't throw that away, right? That's a, that's an ATC. But I do throw this away. I I cannot keep this. I have no way to ever. I will never use this, so I don't keep the little bitty stuff like that. All right, so let's go to this one. Okay, again let's go on this one with instead of any well I still kind of like a four by six right there I'm gonna cut Mona off there let's see. I'm gonna go with four here and six right here let me just that's a little rough edge where I tore it out of the book so I'm just gonna trim just the slightest bit off there just to make it smooth okay look there's a whole little cave world there this is a waterfall 
have a waterfall coming down here. This is a garden, plants growing out here. Like this is a little side island. Flowers, waterfall. Um, I put a little, there's a mountain. Look, there's a mountain. Maybe that mountain up here, there's a little bit of a watch up there and then the things come down there. See? Um, Debbie, you are or Haley is? Debbie, you are? You could even see a little fairy in there if you wanted to. Again, I'm not one to put many people in mine, but, you know, Mona's the exception. All right, so let's just see what this little bit, that's a two and a half. So let's trim it down to three and a half. So we got a, got just a little bit of an ATC there. We go this way. I kind of like it that because I see that, you know, the shooting star already. Okay, so now let's see. Now I think I'll go with another four by six up here. So let's go with four by six. Haley is. Oh, okay, Haley. Congratulations. Could go, it almost could look like the inside of a fish tank. Or there's a there's a fish coming out of a cave underwater. There's fish here, all kinds of fishy things going on. Okay. And if you're just not sure, um, if you're just not sure, then make a bunch of these collage looking things. We've done this a lot of times where you just take paint and paper and stamps and stencils and just put all of it together until you get a page that looks like that. You saw a fairy, yeah. Okay, and um, so let's go with, how many can I get out of this? I can get two out of this. So I can cut down, let me cut it down to eight. Already three, so now I can get two three by fours out of this. And again, you can do landscape. It doesn't have to be horizontal, I mean vertical. You can do horizontal uh, art cards. I don't do a lot of horizontal. I just like the vertical um, format, the portrait format. But, you know, <clears throat> look, there's a little bridge right there. There's a rock bridge. She might just get painted out, or she could be a reflection in the water. Uh, you know, could do a lot of things with that. I'm just liking it this way. I just personally like uh, vertical format better than uh, horizontal. But so again, just look at it. See, I see a spaceship in the background. Or a kind of some kind of a building that has a like an amphitheater kind of thing. And look, there's a little green alien sitting on a rock looking over that way. Can you see the little green alien? Could even turn it into a mermaid. Have the tail come right there. This could be a mermaid looking at an underwater city, sitting on this rock with their back to you. Stairs. Or that could be a waterfall coming down. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a chopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, does that give you all enough of an idea? We're already at an hour, guys. But, I mean, let me just show you a few. I'll show you a few other pages that are just here that we could either do something with or not. Say, look at this. This is like, you know, this could be cut up a lot of ways. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a flip through here. These are just some uh, out of art journal pages. Now, this is one that's a finished art page. I won't cut that up because I like this as it is. So, not every one, not every page is going to necessarily be cut up. This is a good one to cut up. Look, that's an awesome one to cut up. That's a napkin. But I like her, so, yeah. Um, so 
So again, let me just kind of flip through a few. I did a painting on that, based on that one. But, um, reminded me of Darcy UK. So again, just all kinds of... These are just old art journal pages. I'm seeing the date on the back of some of these are 2011. This one is still on my uh, Ustream uh, slideshow. I need to change my Ustream slideshow. I mean, these are from 2011. There's a bit of a compass or something that we've cut out on the cameo. This one's a vertical, I mean a horizontal. Some of these are posters, kind of a little bit bigger. But again, could be used to cut up or not. This is Debbie Don't chop them. Well, some of them I won't chop, but some are like, look at this one. For instance, this one. This is not even completed. It's got, this is a great one to chop up. Same for this. This is another great one to chop up. This one's a good one to chop up. Another one to chop up. It's because they're not really done. You know? Now, this is the one. Here's my original painting. That This is one I've got a sample for. I've actually done a painting off of this. Look, this is the crusty. This is the one when Paula talks about me gluing down a stencil in an art journal. This is the page. This is that page. <laughs> this is an actual stencil that got so crusty and used, I glued it on a page. But I have a painting based on part of this. I don't know if y'all remember seeing the painting. Okay, I have a painting with just a part of this right here. I don't know if I could find it and dig it out. Let me pull this to the side though. Okay, let's see. What else do I have in here? This is one that's on my slideshow. This one's from 2011. I have a painting based off of this one. I did a painting on that. Let me pull. I'll try to find the. Let me just see if I can pull the paintings out to show you. So again, a lot of these. Some of these. A lot of these are on my slideshow from 2011 on my UStream slideshow. This one's called the Watchers. I don't mean it by watch, like the like the literal watch, but like the Watcher. Sometimes I put the names on the back. Sometimes uh, Last Frontier. I don't remember the names of all of them. But, uh, this one's called Seed of Life. All the Marbles. Oh, I don't remember the name of this one. These are old guys. These are like from 2011. just pulling through some of them here. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is a perfect one to cut up. guys 
let me just go ahead and pull this to the side this is just one of the this is like six inches not even that much of a foot walk thick stack if y'all been around a long time you know you know i mean because look i haven't even shown y'all these whole nother big you know stack Okay, but I did want to show you, see if I can find the paintings for these two real quick. They'd be under here. I'm going under the table. Going in. Going in. Okay, here's that one. Let's see. I'll show you a couple different ones here. I don't do this these big paintings anymore. Well, I can't say I don't do them anymore, but I'll show you a couple I'm, I'm moving them down to five by seven size. Oh, here's that one. Okay. All right, let me show you a couple of these, and then we'll stop this segment, and then we'll go on to doing some, some making something with the cards. Chop it good. <laughs> chop it good. Okay, so for instance, this one. Here's where you can take just a bit of something. Remember where I showed you these, right? Where I showed you how to cut down taking bits of your collage and turn them into smaller pieces smaller uh, art pieces i liked this right here just this right here and i know it's splashed out a little guys it is a little i'm trying to keep it kind of dark like it is because the page is really dark but it wants to keep flashing out but anyway i like this little bit right there this 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 i just like that so I took that bit and turned it into a painting, which is this. So it's on a canvas board. So you can see this is all paint. So I just liked that part, this part right there. So I did a painting with that. Okay. I need to keep that with that, though, because I'm always getting asked, well, well, what's that one go with? Okay. Then this one, this is Columbus, and I liked, I have, there's some Da Vinci text back here, but instead of a watch, I decided I wanted a compass rose with him. So I did this large painting. This one is, what size is this? 16, I think this is a 18, 16 by 20. It's big. So I took that and did this. So you can see I did a compass rose, the sky there. There's some little things going on over here. There's his hand. Hope y'all can see. I can't even get any closer because so, yeah. So yeah, so take your paintings and I mean your mixed media collage and turn them even if you just do a small one like what we're we've been doing the five by seven this is uh this one's paul paul has always loved this one i don't know where the original collage is but i did this one so this is i just painted the shelf this one's from 2011 as well and they're varnished so you can see she's from a vermeer she's a vermeer girl i think Turned her into an angel with a little bit of steampunk flair. So, yeah. And I just picked out a couple. And I've shown y'all this one a few times. Here's the little mixed media collage with the bird and painter. And, you know, I painted in some stuff around it. And then, now this one's not done. But it's probably, you know, it's about halfway done. But I left it in this stage so you can see. This one's not varnished or finished. But so you can see where I base coated things ready to paint. It's just, see how it's base coated? This is what it looks like before you start putting on the details. So there's that. This one also has a collage to it, but I don't know where it is. Um, I did this one, the Lunar Eclipse a couple of, well, 2011, the lunar eclipse, and so, yeah, and then the last one is the one I showed again last week where this was one of the collage, this is an 8 by 10, and then this is a 12 by 16, so you can see, 
just so you can see that I'll, this is like your sketch, okay, to do, turn into a painting, which I used to do a lot more of, as you can see. But then I started getting back into my portraits, and so that had to kind of go to the side. So when you see now, instead of doing those huge paintings, I'm doing little five by sevens on little can on little mat boards. So this is all paint. It's no collage, no collage on these. They're just all paint. I'm working on these in my spare time. All right, so now we'll go back to working on some art cards. So let me go ahead and stop this video, and then the next part we'll actually do some painting. So hang on. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for being here. We'll be right back.